Hi everyone, so this video is going to be my top tips on growing your hair. This is a much, much, much requested video. I constantly get asked this, I constantly get people asking me, please, please make this video and all that kind of thing. And the reason I haven't done this before was I was quite reluctant to do it because there is no magical cure to grow your hair. You know, I think people think that I'm going to give you this amazing tip and your hair is going to grow and it doesn't work like that. The only things you can do to grow your hair are things that are quite obvious. Um, there's not going to be any miracle cure and you might end what end this video and feel quite disappointed that I haven't told you something that you didn't already know but um, you've requested it so I'm going to do it. But I just want to address a couple of things first. Um, it seems quite a popular thing at the moment. Um, people keep leaving me comments on my hair videos telling me that it is not good to wash your hair every day. I even said this in the hair video, I know it is not good to wash your hair every day, it isn't good for your hair to wash it every day, there's no question about it, but that is the only thing that works for my hair, the only thing that works for my hair and makes it look like this is if I brush it with when it's got conditioner on and that's it, that's the only thing that works for my hair. So there's no point in keep saying you know, it's not good to wash your hair every day. I know it isn't good, but my hair is really healthy and, you know, it it works for me. And if it works for you, then you just do what you've got to do and don't, don't pay any attention to the kind of so-called rules of beauty because you have to do what works for you. And that is really, really what works for me and for my hair type as well. The other thing is people always say use a wide tooth comb to denot your hair because brushing your hair when wet causes breakage. That is true, it does, but my hair is way too curly and way too long to use a wide tooth comb. I've tried it, trust me, I've lived with my hair for years and a wide tooth comb only causes my hair to be really tangled and causes my hair to kind of, I have to really pull at it and it's just not a nice um, image, it just doesn't work for my hair. I brush it when it's got conditioner on with a tangle teaser, I don't over brush it, I brush it once and that is it and um, I just brush it to get the knots out, like I don't brush it into any different way or anything like that. So that's really, um, that's that's something that like I've said before, I don't believe in using a white tooth comb on my hair, it doesn't work. And the other thing as well is people are constantly asking me do your curly hair routine tutorial step by step show us how you do it. I have said this like a million gazillion times before, um, I will do it, I promise you I will do it, but what you don't understand is that to do that kind of video I'll have to film my hair when I get out of the shower, which I always do at night, which means I'll have to do it at night, which means the lighting won't be very good. I'll have to do my kind of night time routine, shall we call it, um, of me, you know, like, I don't know, brushing my hair with conditioner and shaking my hair and, and just letting my hair dry naturally and then a video of me waking up in the morning with my hair and literally I don't do anything to my hair in the morning. Like when I wake up in the morning, my hair looks like this. It looks like that. And what I do is I'll just tip my head upside down, shake it around with my hands a little bit, flick it back up, organise my parting to the other side to give it a bit more body, just kind of play around with the shape of it. And there we go. That is my morning hair routine. So there is like, there's no point in me even making a video about me doing what I just did because that is what I do. The nighttime video, like I said, I promise you I will do, and I know so many of you want it, and you're waiting so patiently, and I really appreciate it, but um, it will take a lot of editing and different lighting, and it's just, I want to do it really, really properly, and I'm not in a position right now where I can do it that way, so I don't want to kind of do it half-heartedly. Um, so yeah, with all those things cleared, I'm going to just tell you my top tips on growing your hair. The first one is a really obvious um, tip, and that is don't cut it. Don't cut your hair. Um, 
there's there's no easier way to say it. Um, people say you know if you trim your hair every couple of months, you'll um you'll get your your hair grows more and that kind of thing. And it is one of those things that try, that's trial and error. But I find that if I cut my hair quite often or trim it every couple of months, it doesn't actually grow. And I'm better off leaving it and I cut mine maybe like every six months, tw so like twice a year, if that. And um, I mean, like my hair really needs to have a little trim now. But I don't cut my hair as often as recommended because I find that that actually doesn't make my hair grow any more than, um, than it should. And you need, to, you really need to just make sure that you're doing what's right for your hair. Don't go by the rules and just try and make sure that you're taking really good care of your hair so my second tip is like i said to make sure you're taking really really good care of your hair so use nice products use a conditioning mask twice a week to make sure your hair's in good condition if you use heat on your hair which you shouldn't if you're trying to grow it out because heat really does damage your hair um use heat protectant on it use a nice leave-in conditioner and just make sure that you really really take good care of your hair use good quality products you might pay a bit more for them but the higher ingredients in them are a lot better for your hair and your hair will kind of look more healthy for it and then also you need to think about what you're putting in your body because your skin your nails and your hair are the last thing that gets nutrients because your body uses all the nutrients to do all its inside functions so make sure you eat plenty of veg fiber um, just a really healthy balanced diet because that way your hair gets the nutrients it needs and quite a lot of protein as well because hair is made out of protein and um that's how it kind of makes it oh, <coughs> got hiccups makes it healthier and if you really want to kind of try and boost the growth of your hair then you can take supplements i recommend taking vitamin c and zinc and you could take just like a multivitamin as well but vitamin c and zinc are things that really help your hair grow and um it can kind of give you a little bit of a growth boost with your hair but like i said it doesn't work for everyone and there isn't a miracle cure to make your hair grow that's why i haven't done this video before because it's not like there's some sort of miracle cure that's going to make your hair grow so much more you've just got to take really good care of it and um, eat well, don't get it cut too often and really just make sure it's in the best condition it could possibly be and that way you're kind of making sure your hair's not just going to grow but it's also really healthy and also remember that there's certain times of year and that kind of thing where your hair just doesn't grow, it gets kind of stuck in a rut and just stays the same length for ages or certain ages it does that and um, it's just the way it is, you can't speed up your hair's growth, there's no way to do it, if there was we'd all be Rapunzel but I haven't ever had my hair short, so if you're growing it out, just follow the tips I said, and I'm sure it will work. But I've never had my hair short. The shortest I've ever had my hair was maybe like here, that, that length. That's the shortest my hair's ever been. I've never had short hair because I've always liked long hair. So I can't really recommend anything to kind of really grow out a bob or anything like that, for example. But... Um, if you're unhappy with the length it is, go and see your hairdresser, speak to your hairdresser, get them to kind of have a look at your hair and decide what the best um, plan of action would be and just make sure you really, really take the best care of your hair and that way it's, even if it doesn't grow as fast as you'd like it to, it would be really, really healthy and just nice, glossy, strong hair and um just follow kind of, you know, you can't speed the growth process. It happens with time. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's probably not what a lot of you wanted to hear. You wanted me to kind of share how to grow your hair out. But really, really, like I said, those are my top tips. Nice hair products, good healthy diet, don't cut it too much, cut back on the heat. And um, those are really the only things you can do to grow out your hair. There's no miracle cure for it, otherwise we'd all be doing it. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you've got any questions or anything like that, let me know. Pop them in the, descript in the comments below, not in the description box. And I'll get back to you, and I will see you all soon. Bye.